What's up everybody, a spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on No Man's Sky. Uh, when we left off in the last episode... Ooh, yay, more Mordite! Uh, when we left off in the last episode, we finally got ourselves our very own freighter. Which is really interesting, and I want to dive more into it today. And try and do some work on it to see what all we can do with it. And I just happened to run across all this crap. Um, one other thing that I wanted to check on was the... Is this it? Terminal? Okay, so I need 10 circuit boards, 6 voltaic cells, and 500 emerald. Or emerald, excuse me, there's no D. It's a different chemical. Um, we have 173. I haven't actually checked my auto miner in a bit. Let's do that. Since it should be out here somewhere. But I'm I'm tempted to at least try, since this planet isn't really like my favorite planet in the world or anything like that, I'm really tempted to kind of convert the um, freighter at the moment into a mobile base until I find a more suitable place that I actually really like. Because, I mean, this place is kind of radioactive, and this is not fun. Alright. So there's another 20. I, pr I don't know. Emerald and all that does mine pretty slow. I was thinking to myself, I probably could mine that faster. Like, by myself. Like, just mine it. But, oh, we got another ship up here. And like I said before, if you can find a transmission tower and stuff, the, um... Buying ships idea really is not all that lucrative. Um, it's much easier to find them. You just have to run across a planet that has the uh, transmission towers, which makes it easier to find. Uh, he's got a hyperdrive. I mean, it's 36 slots, but it's 14 million. That was twice what I paid for my freighter. So, yeah, no. Sorry, buddy. Um, I think for now, I'm gonna try and do this a little bit... Can, can you delete plants? Can you do that? You can delete plants, okay. So I guess if we deleted plants, we would get them back. Is kind of the idea. Hmm, intriguing. But for now, what I actually want to do is move these guys. So, if any of you don't already know, um, these can actually... No, I don't know. Oh, do I not have an, an analysis visor? I do not. Well, that's crabby. I thought I installed one. I think I took a slot out and then I just never installed it. Alright, well, that's crap. Um, let's just grab some iron here. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah, so you can actually delete these. I think I've talked about this before. Is you can delete these. Um, and also they, they maintain their... Um, they maintain their inventory. Which is a really cool thing, actually. I gotta be careful as to how many of these I do at once. Starship and oh, that's stupid. That needs to be fixed. Um, I think I can transfer these for now, and that should give us more room. Yeah, that'll work. And that'll let us. We might actually be able to move all of our. I don't know. And the reason I'm moving them all is because, unlike our base, the freighter can be called anywhere. And because of that, it becomes far more convenient to move the, um, the ship than it does to move the, or go back to the base. And like I said, it would be different if I didn't have kind of a... Uh, if I had kind of like, you know, I've mentioned before that I've always been looking for that 
something like a blue and white snow planet or something like that. Um, it'd be different if I had already like found one of those, but I have not, so... Oh boy. Um, how is my inventory full? Uh, let's throw these guys in here. Anything that doesn't stack normally we'll throw in the ship. Eh! <laughs> that was funny. Oh, that's why. Okay, all the non-ferrous plates. Okay. So, yeah, let me work on this for a minute. I'm not gonna... I'm, well, one thing I want to do first, actually, is call our freighter. I want to see how this works. Oh, you can actually tell it where to land. Oh! Well, that's... different. I didn't know that. Okay, that's kind of awesome. I knew that not. Um, that's pretty cool. I like that. Alright. So we'll get rid of these two things. Actually, can I... Oh, you can actually customize this. I didn't know that. Wait, can... Does that mean I can just... Del oh, okay. Okay, okay, cool. Interesting. So, yeah. Well, since that's right here, actually, let's just go ahead and get the rest of these guys. Uh, this room no longer really needs to be this gigantic. So i tell you what we're gonna do. Um, since we kind of should have some excess iron anyway, to um, build with. We're just gonna walk this back a wee bit here. Like so. And actually, there's no real need for all this stuff either. So this is quite a few cube rooms that we'll be able to add into our base up there. Take that. Um... We're gonna leave the plants for the moment, mainly because I need to get them, get it set up, up in the ship uh, before I do any of that. What I might do though is let's go ahead and grab our people. I think I should be able. I think I have enough inventory space to collect them too. Uh, primarily our agriculture guy, because. Everybody else is kind of done. We don't really need anybody else. Now, I say resources to collect them, but I don't actually know if that requires any resources or if they're just, like, objects kind of thing after you craft and assign people. I don't really know. But we don't need any of this. And I know I'm being a little... Uh, what's the proper term? presumptuous, I guess. That I'm like, yeah, we're not gonna need a we're not gonna need a base. We've got a ba you know. And I mentioned in the last episode that um I mentioned in the last episode that you know, there are things that the bases are allowed to have that the freighter is not. And that's true. So that's something we do have to keep in mind. But as far as I know, most everything that's actually not, like, decorative, but a thing, um, is usually available. And plus, I'm not saying I'll never have a, a standalone base, I'm just saying that since it took us so long to get a freighter, we can call it from anywhere that we're at. I have no more plutonium, and no more inventory space. Well, that's awesome. Um, hyperdrive, nope. Well, Incoming storm. that's unexpected. Technology recharge. Uh, let's just discard this, because it's only ten. I probably needed that for something, though. Whoops. Alright, and of course, during a storm, I need to run out and get plutonium. I have some in my... In my 
inventory thing, actually, in one of my crates. I have a lot of it. It's just the crates are in my, like, space. Alright. Let's try this again. my freighter go. There you are. Why is it glowing? I wonder. Unless that's just to indicate it's mine and not a random freighter, maybe. I also don't know what happens if, like, when you get attacked by people. I know if you're in your freighter, nothing really happens, but I don't know what it kind of does if you're, um like out and about and then your freighter gets attacked it's like does that do you actually lose materials or is that just a cinematic type thing but it's not actually affecting you i don't know all right now i've got to remember how to get to the base stuff that's i think the bridge and then this is i think the main building area yes okay Oh, sweet home. Alrighty. And we could do this, but I don't really want to. Um, now, let's see. We've got the main things. Actually, let's, let's take this time to actually go through what you can do. Straight corridors, L corridors, X-shaped corridors. No, glass, obviously. I mean, I guess that actually makes sense. We talked about that in the last episode. Can do galactic terminals and land and ladders you can't do stuff like um what was some of the stuff we were trying to do in the other build like uh landing platforms and ramps and stuff like that we have all of our special terminals actually we do have a lot of decoration stuff i thought a lot of that would probably fall to the wayside but negative farming you can do confirmed okay cool so we can move our farms lights we can do. We only have the cuboid rooms or the flooring. Which, what do we need flooring for? Anyways. Decals. And the containers. So we lose a lot of the decorative type stuff. Can I get rid of... Ooh, I can get rid of this. No, I can't. Not removable. I think I already put a room here. What is this flooring for, though? I don't understand. What's the flooring do? Maybe if you go up. Let's try that real quick. Player ins. I am not. Okay. Okay. For now, just to keep uh, materials. I am not. Thank you. Goodness gracious me. Okay, this invalid position. Invalid position. And this is going to run back over to that. Okay. So there's that. Um, I've got 26 more that we can use. Now these say invalid positions for the cube rooms. I wonder, can I put the containers here? Negative. Okay. Um, this is another big question, too, of how do we want to set this up? Okay, so that's out of range. Interesting. Okay, good to know. Actually, that's probably a good way to start, is let's just go through and find out room-wise how far we can go. So we can go this way, but then that's out of range. Oh, wow, oh, wow. Holy crap! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Jeez! You have a huge space to work with! Alright, alright. Let's go this way. We have one, two... Oops! Oh, didn't mean to do that. Not yet, anyway. Three... Ah, dang it! Four, five, six, seven! Oh! Eight! Nine. 
Uh... This is a gigantic ship! Holy crap! Wow! Well, alright then. Um... We are not gonna keep it this large at the moment, though. I wanna make use of this material stuff, but wow! That's nuts! I mean, I expected, like, a few cube areas and stuff. I did not expect all of that. Actually, I might even take this back for now. Um, just because at the moment I'm not, I'm still not 100% sure. What was it? Three? And then cross? Okay, there we go. I'm not 100% sure exactly how I want to set this up at the moment. And because it's very easy to, like, swap things out and move them around, it's... I don't really want to mess with all that at the moment. Um, for now, I really want to put my containers back. And like I said, this is kind of temporary of... I'm kind of just getting everything set up in here, but it's not really like a... Um, it's not really like, oh, this is totally how it's going to stay forever and ever and always. So that's crazy, though, at the amount of space you've got to work with. Like, crazy. Um, for now... I also noticed one other thing. There's no doors. Are there? Decorations... Specialist terminals. We have terminals. Room parts. See, in room parts there would normally be doors. And I see no doors anywhere. So it would be difficult to actually make quote-unquote rooms, so to speak, without, you know, making you go up or something of that effect. Actually, that's not a bad idea either. Let's see, can we add a ladder? No. So we would have to... Let's try this. We would have to probably do a room, a floor, and then a ladder? If that was going to work? Yep, okay. So let's do that. We'll rotate that around. Uh, actually... Nope, wrong button. Let's actually put it there. It's a little more out of the way, but it'll also be a little more convenient for walking up. Okay. Now, what about this way? Can we go crazy? No. Base out of range. Invalid position. Okay. I get you now. So that's in so it's gonna basically model the same pattern. Okay. Interesting. And is the floor elevated? It didn't look like it was, but I guess it is. Okay. And can we build off of that? Or because that's not a invalid position, so we would have to make that an empty space before you can then apply that. Okay. We're learning things. And like I said, for now, we're just going to set up some of this stuff. So... I don't know how many terminals I actually had planned out here. Let's do... Yeah, they're just gonna have to cohabitate for a bit. Oh no! Yeah, whatever. I don't have enough iron. I probably do. Let me go back to my inventory over here. Um, one other thing that I actually got a comment on in... What the heck was all that about? In the last episode was I had brought up at some point... Yeah, we've got plenty of iron. Okay. 
I? Oh, here's another thing. So the freighter's inventory is still something entirely different. Okay. That's... That's interesting. Now, I also don't know what happens to all this if you were to buy a new freighter, either. That's something else that... I honestly just don't know how it works. If we ended up buying a new freighter, would we end up, you know, doing that? I don't know. I might end up just expanding this area, though, and kind of just grabbing all that iron that I have, just to see what we can do with it. Because uh, that actually sounds like fun. Uh, I started to say, though, one of the things that I was told about was... Um, yeah, let's just grab all this. It's actually not that much. Especially when you consider each room is 100. So maybe we shouldn't. Is each room 100? Yeah, we can only do six more. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know about all that. I'd say for now... Oh, you know what? I probably should, though, do a little something for the... Uh, I might not want to... I forgot about farming. I need a farming area of at least six. So I'll tell you what. Let's give you guys a little extra space. Uh, this... Alright, I have an idea. I think. I think I have an idea. We're gonna take that out. And that out. I don't know where... Okay, that's where I started a second ago, so we'll take that one. And I'm actually gonna trim this up for a, a little bit, and hopefully you'll see why in a minute. Not really because I'm trying to, like, compartmentalize. It's just I'm trying to make do without having to go make an iron run. So there's one. Whoops! Literally pulled the floor out from under you guys. Alright, so let's just pull these guys back. This is not going to work. This is not going to work the way I wanted it to. Um, hold on a minute. Let me, let me play around with this a bit, because we're kind of killing time here. Alrighty, so I've been doing some work off camera. Um, yeah, I got a lot of iron to work with too, so that's that's pretty pretty fun. Uh, this is a bit cramped at the moment. Again, kind of just makeshifting it at the moment until I figure out kind of what I really want to do with it. Uh, for now, though, we have all of our storage. We have all of our people around this corner. Now, I am noticing, I don't know if it's because I've just done a lot or if it's what I have going on, but there are some glitches going on. For example, seeing through this floorboard is not something you're supposed to have happen. And it's kind of shifting the alignment. You can see how, like, the the uh, rooms aren't lining up perfectly. It's kind of messing with a little bit of the alignment, but I don't know if that's something that's just from I loaded in wrong or, you know, after this stuff is here, if I reset the freighter now, it'll be fine. You know, I don't know. But anyways, we have all of our people here. And I left the agricultural guy off to the side because he's the only one that we actually have to get stuff from. And the rest of this, I've carved out his farming area. I did keep some of them, like the Gravitino orbs, Sac Venom, Coprite, uh, Spadonium, Chrysogen, and... Uh, one of these, I forget which one's which, Condensium and something else, Temerium or something. Uh, but the rest of this, as you can tell, I pretty much just made Mordite because the lubricant farming system of, you know, awesomeness, basically. So, yeah, essentially all I should have to do is park next to, here's a, here's a good example, how this is all lined up and then this is kind of jutted out to the side. And you can kind of see, sometimes it was messing with the planters as well. Like this one, how the back frames kind of through the wall. So there's a little issue there, but I don't know exactly how big of a deal that is. Um, Spadunium. But yeah, so I actually have... I mean, in theory, we could... 
Wait, can I not? Oh, that's because I'm not cutting anything out there. Duh. Um, invalid position. So it's probably because there's stuff next to it. I can't break that at the moment. Um, but we can do this. Where's that come out at? Yeah, so it's because those are right next to each other at the moment. But because, like, I've got enough iron to do 19 rooms at the moment. So if we really wanted to. Um, for now, I'm actually going to leave that wall there. Just because that'll kind of separate the room. Um, but yeah, I mean... There's really not a whole lot stopping us from just punching holes everywhere in the wall. Where's this come out at? So that would be behind... Yeah, that's behind that. So let's say we go this way. What did I do before? Okay, so that's the wall there. So I'd want to go one over. And that could be a hallway to somewhere. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm kind of liking having a crap load of iron to work with right now. Because I, bas <laughs> I basically can just go crazy with this. Uh, two. Yeah, why not? Take those out. Um, and let's go ahead and move these guys around. Because I think they're probably the bigger problem uh, for the upgrading... Not upgrading, but the structural stuff. I'm kind of imagining. And I don't know, again, later we could always... Um, move these guys around or something. I am a little disappointed that I can't put a door um, in the freighter to make its own separated rooms. That's a little disappointing. Um, and I'm actually going to take those two out as well. And leave it that way. Uh, not only because it lines up this wall, but it also won't let the cargo container show. Um, actually... I could widen this. Maybe. We could do it like that, but I kind of like the corridor feel. Wait, what a- ah, oh, crap. I took that out. I didn't mean to do that. Where is it? There it is. Okay. But see, like this, how this is misaligned. Um, let's see if I can fix that, actually, now that there's nothing there. Uh, let's see. Let's remove that wall. Put it back. And now you can see that it's kind of fixed. So I don't know exactly what's causing that issue. But, you know. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm actually going to do, because I want a good comparison of this at the moment. Because we are about to get really rich off of this if I... If I do this right. Um, okay, so let's put what's left of our iron. I used a lot of iron. But we'll put all that there. I think spadonium is in this container. Haha! -ha, success! And I actually have run out of platinum storage, believe it or not. So there's that. And... Oh, I'm in the inventory mode. For now, I'm gonna put the Mordite back. I had a bunch of Mordite in my inventory for... Basically, because I was trying to... Um, plant more, so you needed more of the material, but, you know. So, I actually want to see what a full harvest of this will do now that they're fully grown. Jeez, that's a lot! And I probably am not going to make a regular habit of harvesting some of this stuff until I actually start finding more of a use for it. Except for these four, which, you know, they're fairly a uh, good source of money. And I'm not going to try and do, like, all of it in one swoop to keep the counter up there going. I'm just going to look at the end and see what we have. But yeah, this should expedite money quite a bit, I'm thinking. 
Because again, these still basically come up every six minutes, like from whenever you planted them or whenever they harvested last. So that's almost 500 Mordite right there, which would translate to what? I know that the lubricant is 40. So let's go through and make this real quick. All right, so that one round. Now remember, I have like 170 left, but I didn't. I wanted to go off of just the flat um, one harvest. I do have 30 left over. If I had 10, you know, if you get lucky and you just got 10 more from your harvest, then I could have made one more. But that still left me with uh, 11, because I think one of these was already from my inventory. So that's roughly about 200,000. Um, so, yeah, we're looking at almost about 400,000, give or take, uh, right off the bat from any harvest thing every, like, six minutes. So if we really wanted to, if I ever decided I wanted, to, I needed units for something, like to just buy another ship or something, um, yeah, we could totally do that, basically. And every six minutes is not bad for another close to half a grand. Uh, a half a mil, not half a grand. And as we expand the base, or as we expand the freighter, I can always add more of these. You know, knock this wall out and keep it going back there, do another row, blah, 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 blah. So there's really, you know, you don't have to really have a limit. You could be making um, two million every six minutes if you just had a ton of them. Uh, one thing I did have to note, though, is that because we're no longer on a base, oh yeah, because we're no longer on a base, I can't do the save point beacon, that kind of thing. So um, I have to remember, or for any of you that are following along as far as you got a freighter and don't know what you're doing either, um, to save your game and make sure everything that you, like me, I spent like an hour on this, so everything that I just did doesn't go kaplooey, um, basically what I do is I get in my ship and then get out. And it will tell you there's a restore point saved. So, in the base, I had a little save point right outside the door and would just walk out and save it. So that's one little, you know, unfortunate side effect. But anyways, that's gonna do it for, for this episode. Let me know what you guys think. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace!